lot of things changed uh, after the Irish famine. One of the biggest things that changed was the way that land was passed on. Before the famine, everybody got land when the parents passed on. They didn't necessarily own the land, but they got the land. And because you could feed a family on a half an acre of potatoes, uh, the population remained high uh, and people could stay in the country for the most part. Uh, they were very poor economically, very rich culturally, spiritually, great music and song and dance traditions. But after the famine, all that changed. Now, only one son inherited the farm. And then a woman came in with a dowry. Uh, and if you didn't have a dowry, uh, there was no place for you in the system. Only one woman could be in the house, apart from the mother who was retired to the, what they called the West Wing of the house. So as a result of that, an awful lot of women emigrated to America. In fact, we were the only uh, European country where more women than men emigrated. And for quite some time, uh, they went off to America and a lot of them worked in the textile mills, they worked as domestics. They sent home money and the amount of money that they sent home was called by the late historian Dennis Tark the greatest transatlantic philanthropy of the 19th century, the late 19th century. There are songs about, about these women, songs about women who broke the rules. So it was very hard to marry outside your class. Uh, and uh, women took matters into their own hands and often followed their true loves off to America, to North America, where they'd gone and discussed if the, there was parental disapproval uh, to the marriage. And off they went. Uh, and sometimes they found their lovers over there. This is a song about that. Uh, kind of an unlikely uh, happy ending to a song that starts out in Enniskillen in the north of Ireland. Joining me in this song is a wonderful musician from North Carolina, uh, the young Haley Richardson, who's now the lead fiddler in Riverdance. We played together for about six years now. We've traveled quite a bit together. Uh, very honored to have her play on this particular recording. The song is called You Lovers All. Hey Mick and everyone watching this, thanks so much for having me be a part of this. I'm very honoured um, and I'm especially excited because I think it's fantastic that we can share our music with one another under the conditions that we're in at the moment, not really being able to play with one another at the same time in the same place, but especially because um, me being in North Carolina and Mick in Bangkok, it's great that we can still virtually play music together so i'm very excited um, and especially because this is one of my favorite songs uh, i think the melody of it is just gorgeous and the words very eloquently emulate what it was like at this time for the people of ireland and the struggles they were experiencing and uh, the conditions under which they lived and um, the story of leaving a place that you know so well um, to go somewhere where you're not really sure what you'll be experiencing there um, and that unknown factor and telling the story of a particular scenario um, where love was found in the end. So I'm um, very excited to do this and thanks again so much uh, to Mick for having me be a part of this and I hope you enjoy the song as much as I do. You lovers all, both great and small, that dwell in Ireland. And I hope you'll pay attention while I my pen command. It was my father's anger that drove my love away. But I'm still in hopes we will meet again in North America. My love is neat and handsome. To him I gave my heart And little was our notion That ever we would part It was in my father's garden This flower it did decay But I'm still in hopes it will bloom again In North America I did not do want for money, good fortune on me shines. And from my father's castle, I stole five hundred pounds. It was in 
the town of Belfast, my passage I did pay. My mind made up to follow my love to North America. Captain's wife was kind to me, as you might understand, and she kept me in her cabin until we reached the land. It was in the town of Quebec we landed on the quay. I knew not where to find my love. In North America But I been sick and tired and sore I went into an inn And twas there I spied my William The lad I loved within I gently took him by the hand And to him I did say I never thought I'd see your face in all of Mary Kay. And I hear they live quite happily in a town that they call St. John. And the money that she took from home, in gold she paid it down. And she thinks no more on Ireland or ever. 